Letter 139 With God no one is dead, all are alive. December 22, 1882 Peace to you and blessing from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is born, Matushkaim, if you are alive. And if you have died, eternal memory to you and rest with the saints where there is joy and sweetness unspeakable, unimaginable. I think you must be there by now, because in your little letter you several times said, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm finally dying, I'm really and truly dying. And so I surmise that you are now there, dancing with the angels and glorifying the one who is born. But if beyond all expectation you haven't quite died as yet, I greet you with the old joyous nativity of our Savior and Redeemer from eternal death and tribulations and pains and hates and everything unpleasant. And since with the Lord no one is dead, but all are alive to him. Luca 20, 38. This means that whether you are dead or alive, either way, we are celebrating together our Savior Jesus Christ who is born. For today heaven and earth make glad together. And let's you and I chant to the melody of angelic powers. Let the mountains drop forth their sweetness, for lo God doth come forth from heaven. Be ye vanquished, O ye nations, rejoice, O prophets, O ye patriarchs, leap for joy, clap your hands, all of mankind, for Christ, the great and mighty ruler, is born. The King of heaven is come on the earth. From Stihera of the Praises, December 20. What joy for the Orthodox, both for heaven and earth. Therefore, wherever you may be, I greet you, and I wish that you may rejoice together with the heavenly powers. Christ is born. Give ye glory.